going to be an uplifting video. I have the need for another jack here around the shop. So I got online and was looking at different designs and different models and whatnot. And I saw this airbag jack that Vivor has. So I reached out to Vivor and said, hey, can you send me one of those for review because that thing looks really neat. And they did. So this video is the unboxing and my first impressions of the Vivor 11,000 pound airbag jack. Link and a discount code will be in the description below. All right. Let's open this thing up, see what's all in here. I feel like this is upside down. <laughs> okay. So, base plate on wheels. It's like the handle mount. Probably the first section of the handle. And the handle handle end and the air inlet of the handle. So, looks pretty easy. Anything else in here? I don't really see the need to go into great detail on the assembly of this jack. It was pretty straightforward. But I would like to say real quick that putting the handle mount onto the base plate was much easier to do with the jack upside down and also be careful when putting this first handle section in as that notch needs to go up and over that hose and that's a real easy detail to miss which will pinch your hose so that's what i gotta say about that the main reason i wanted this airbag jack was for my chevy conversion van since it has all this skirting around the bottom it's really difficult to get under this thing with a jack and try to raise this thing up so i'm really hoping that this airbag jack We'll just slide under there and I can raise it up real quick and, you know, change the tire, work on the brakes, whatever I need to do. I can see right away the one downside to this jack is it's wider than a normal floor jack. So you can't really squeeze it in like up next to the tire. With this big sway bar this van has on it, I was going to put it on the frame up here and see how that does. This jack has enough travel and it's fast enough at lifting that putting it on the frame is really the best way to go with this. I mean, that lift that tire clear up off the ground, no problem. And the jack hasn't even gone to full travel yet. It looks like I've got another, I don't know, maybe two inches of travel, something like that. I like that a lot. That was super easy. All right, let's let it down. It definitely has some kind of restrictor in there because I just opened the dump valve all the way just to see how fast it would drop. That was nice and slow to control. So that's really good too. Let's go try something a little heavier. Well, let's see if I can lift a tire off the ground with it on my big old welding truck here. If I recall correctly, the front axle, I've got 8,000 pounds on it and I've got 9,000 pounds on the rear axle the way she sets up like this. That was easy peasy. I 
That is absolutely no problem doing that. That's insane. That's that is effortless, man. That is really, really impressive. Man, that is really cool. Um, I've got 8,000 pounds of actual weight on the front axle. That's what it weighs when I go across the scales. And my rear axle has 9,000 pounds of weight on it, set up as is, like this. So, a lot of people don't think it actually does, but this rear axle has 1,000 pounds more on it than my front. And, uh, yeah, so, that's pretty impressive that it lifts it up that quick. Man, and that easy. That is nice. This is impressive. This jack is also super handy for lifting projects I'm working on here in the garage. You know, metal fabrication projects. Case in point, so I'm trying to get these casters put on my press brake. I've had it sitting on these car dollies since I built it, and I want my car dollies back. Also, I want to get the press brake on its own casters. So, this jack makes it super easy to lift stuff like this. This jack doesn't even know a project this size exists. There we go. I am really impressed with this jack. It is so much better than trying to manually pump a bottle jack. Or, you know, sometimes when you get a floor jack up under something, you can't run the handle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so easy just to flip a switch and the thing goes up. Really, really impressed with it. I'm also really impressed with how fast it is, too. Matter of fact, I am so impressed with this jack that I went and bought myself another one with my own money. Uh, I got a couple projects I want to do with it. Uh, mainly, I hit a huge washout coming home from a service call a while back and sheared off the centering bolts on the front axle, you know, on the leaf springs of my welding truck. So I need to pull that axle out from under there and replace those centering bolts. So two jacks is going to be much nicer for that. And the reason I'm telling you I bought a second one with my own money is because that's actually how impressed I am with this jack. This thing is awesome. It really is. And if you want one of these jacks from Vivor, check the description below because there's a code down there for 5% off. And it's not even just 5% off for this jack, it's 5% off for anything on their website. So that's a pretty good deal. All right, well, I gotta get back to work. So we'll see you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions of this jack. And I gotta say, honestly, it is a good jack. I'm really impressed. All right, see you all in the next one.